Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Friday, April the 15th. It's the third week in Easter and the second week in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 31, verse 9 to 24, and Matthew 4, verse 12 to 17. Please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts with the Easter Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our God is good, our God is kind, whose grace is great and mercy sure. And the whole race of you God's truth from age to age endure. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. Hallelujah, Psalm 31, and please recite it with me. <clears throat> Hallelujah, have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with grief, and so is my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my sins, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to my acquaintances. They that see me avoid me. <clears throat> I am forgotten like the dead, out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many, Fear was on every side, while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life. But I trusted in you, O God. I said, You are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from my enemies and from them that persecute me. Shine your face on me and save me for your love's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O God, for I have called on you. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things, proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. How great your goodness, which you have laid up for them that fear you, which you have wrought for them that trust in you before the children of the earth. You shall hide them in the secret of your presence from the pride of mortals, you shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed are you, for you have shown me marvelous kindness in a besieged city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried to you. Love God, all you saints, for God preserves the faithful and repays to the full the proud. Be of good courage, and God shall strengthen your heart, all of you that hope in God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word in Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 4, beginning at verse 12. Now when Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and he made his home in Capernaum by the sea, in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali, so that what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, on the road by the sea, across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. 
The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time Jesus began to proclaim, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Defend us and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Strengthen our hearts and preserve your faithful, O God Most High, as we place our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.